Hello everybody, I am Rajendra Vaishampan from Lemis India. Today, we will be in this section, we will be discussing troubleshooting, maintenance and parts replacement of DC400 system of Lemis process, formerly known as Lemis Baltic Underground Tank Density Meters. Now, let us understand structure of DC400 system. Let us assume that this is tank, this is flange of the probe, this is head and this is resonator. This is pipe in between and through this pipe cable runs which is joining canister and this resonator. Here cable, cable is coming out from the canister, there is joint. This cable is joined to field cable and finally this field cable is connected to general barrier of this console. This is console and this console is situated fixed in the control room or sales room. These are general barriers equals to the number of flows present in the retail outlet. This is DM interface, this is intelligent device, it contains microcontroller. ASTM table, all convergence, temperature compensation, etc. Every information is stored into this. Then this is power supply. It is having 230 input and parallel software load given output. These are displays which are mounted on the canopy or pillars. Then this is software. Configuration utility 6. This software of Levis is available to detect the sen sensors and to have the information of the density. You can see one grid angle here and the density here. This is the converter. The converter converts RS485 to RS232 form. So that the information can be seen, viewed in the screen or computer. Now we will see, we will learn in this session how to lift up probe from the tank. Four nut bolts are there. You have to remove these four nut bolts and you have to lift up this probe. We have lifted the probe and kept the probe on the ground. Now we will remove resonator because while replacing sensor pair, first you have to take out resonator. To take out resonator, these two tools are required. This is sensor removing tool, special tool. This is supplied by Lemis India and this is 3641 spanner. Engage pin of this special tool with this hole. Use now use 41 spanner to slacken this cap. Now we have unscrewed the cap and now the cable is visible. Now take out cable. Remember only turn this part. Do not turn this full cable, otherwise wires inside the connector will break. Now we have completely removed resonator. Now we will learn how to remove electronics inside this casing. For this the tools required are corpus removal bay, screwdriver and 25-24 fixed spanner. You need to use this bay tool to remove the casing of cover of this new casing. Rotating. Slacken this clamp cap and remove three screws. This cable needs to be removed and you have to slightly pull electronic. The electronic will come out with cable. How to dismantle cable from electronic? This cable only turn this part, rotate only this part. This is very much important. This part should not get uh, or rotated. Very careful. No hurry. Parts of probe, this is empty probe, casing, this is sensor or resonator, canister and cable.
we should run through this pipe. Now we will replace new sensor pair. We have removed old sensor pair. See, there is notch, there is one groove here. We to match this. Press from this side, press and hold and rotate only upper part. Remember, the sensor pair consists of electronic and resonator. Now let us learn how to find out serial number of the probe. It is situated at two places, top on the head or blue cup casing, bottom on the resonator. While replacing sensor, first you have to fix canister and then resonator. Now we will fix electronics with the help of this metal ring and three screws. Assembling probe, do not forget to use resonator o-ring as well as enclosure o-ring or canister o-ring. This is very much essential to avoid water ingress in case of enclosure and product ingress in case of resonator. Tighten this beauty thing, cover and then clamp. Please remember if this clamp and this cover are not properly tightened then there is no IP protection. Please remember this. You have to tighten both things properly. Please ensure this. Now we shall replace resonator. Please remember the O-ring o -ring is very much important. It seals liquid into the inside. Don't pull this cable too much. Again you have to match this notch and this screw. Match it properly and fix it. Remember again only turn this part. Don't turn whole part. You do not have to turn resonator. Keep resonator stationary and rotate only this connector. Now tighten this cap using hand force. It is easy and at the last stage it need to be tightened using special span. Do not rotate resonator. So the probe is ready to work again. Install it back into the tank. For phase 1 and 2 we have supplied grey heads. Now I will show you how to replace this grey heads with the new blue one. Take the probe out. Now using 4 mm allen key we will remove these allen screws. Now we have removed allen screws and it will come out like this. Remove cable first, then remove this coupling using adjustable span. Never forget to use thread seal for this threading so that water will not go inside. Engage two threads and then apply an about thread sealant adhesive on these threads so that water will not go inside. Replacement or installation of the probe please do not forget to use scotch cast adhesive to join field cable and sensor cable. Now we will discuss double string on the DC coronavirus system. Now to start with if the system does not respond to the queries or does not show us check input AC voltage to power supply. For this keep multimeter in AC 750 or 400 range.
AC 230 volt is present or not. Check here. Number 2. Now check the AC 220 volt on the connector of power supply card. Number 3. Now check the voltage across terminal number 13 and 14 of general barrier. But don't forget to change the range of multimeter from AC to DC. DC 20 range. The voltage between terminal 13 and 14 should be between 8 to 9 volts. It should be steady voltage. Now number 4. You have to measure voltage across 14 and 23 of general barrier. This is data signal. This voltage should change between 8 to 11 volts for OK sensor. Number 5. Across terminal 11 and 12, there should be 12 volt present. If this 12 volt is absent and this LED is not glowing, then power supply is faulty. Replace power supply. If this is okay, then replace DM interface. Now we will see what steps we need to take if there is a difference found between display reading and manual reading. Take density manually using hydrometer. Now we will start with taking accurate manual reading. Here the upper touch point is 24. Do not forget to consider meniscus. Now this is false reading. You have to take reading 25. This is because due to the formation of meniscus. Consider meniscus. Please ensure before taking sample for manual density measurement use clean glass cylinder. Please do not use plastic or dirty cylinders. The logic to take correct manual reading is described in ASTM D12981 that is Resolution American Society for Testing Material. Point number two which will be responsible for deviation that if the probe installation is correct whether it is lifted up 170 mm from the tank bottom and also there could be presence of water and there is possibility that the resonator may be immersed into this water. There could be third possibility of presence of impurities into the tank. Please check this. Last but not the least, there could be possibility that this resonator may be filled or clogged with mud or sand. Then to clean the resonator, please use soft clean cloth or tissue paper. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope that many of the your queries may have solved. But still, if you have any doubt, please contact me on cell phone 982310967 or mail me rajendra at the rate lemisindia.com.